So in the past I've tried the country's best sausage roll and I've tried the country's best kebab, but who better to try the best fish and chips in the country with than... Good evening! Oh, good evening! I love fish and chips. In fact, I love Honestly, them Honestly, I thought it was going to be I'm Alex. Never mind. Now you may have noticed that we've had a drink or two. We are in Grimsby to film a video for Becky's channel that involved going to the pub, so we got a bit tipsy, as Becky is demonstrating here. Becky, what makes a good fish and chip shop? Mm, I love fish and chips. I love the fish and I love the chips. So what makes a good fish and chip shop is to make sure the fish is crips, crispy, crispy. Um, what I mean by that is crispy and make sure that the chips are well done and not too undercooked because if they are undercooked what's the best fish and chips in wales charlotte's chip shop neath robbie loves robbie loves a weekend i should say we've, we've we've done a couple of pints before we came here but anyway so the best fish and chip shop in the country there's 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 not one winner there's not like an overall champion there's no <laughs> one award but, but coming up time and time again is this particular place in Cleethorpes by Grimsby Steel's Corner House. It's in loads of different lists, it's always in the best fish and chip shop categories. Lloyd Griffith, that's a friend of mine, says it's the best thing ever. Robert, if you're going to Grimsby, you need to go to Steel's, which is actually in Cleethorpes. Fish and chip shop, one of the best fish and chip shops in the world. Incredible fish, haddock, never cod, okay, um, but also Get involved with their fish cakes. We talked about it on the podcast. Steels, fish cakes. <clears throat> Get some curry and gravy if you can as well. But honestly, steals. The goat of fish and chip shops. Also, it's the only fish and chip shop I've ever seen that's been advertised by the local tourist authority, which is the quality of fish and chips. So we're gonna go. And 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 look, oh. it's got LED lights. Whose chip shop has got LED lights? Not mine. It's there. Not mine. Before we get stuck into the fish and chips, let's talk apples, because we have an apple tree in our garden that produces a lot of apples, more than we can eat. As a result, I'm always looking for ways to use up excess apples, and I found a delightful looking recipe for maple and cream apple pie that I thought I'd give it a go. But here's the twist. Oatly have kindly sponsored this video, and I'm gonna try and substitute their products, their milk equivalent, and their double cream equivalent, and see whether it works. Let's get cooking. Will it swap? So I've been out the garden and picked the healthiest looking apples. A lot of them are starting to get munched by bugs and stuff like that. And the first step is to give them a little peel so they're ready to cook with. So that's the apples all chopped, nicely done. This will be a sort of vegan recipe if this all works out, apart from a very slight little bit human blood, but I don't think I got any in the apples. It's a cup of sugar apparently. I'm assuming cornstarch is just American for corn flour. Half a teaspoon of salt and then go the apples. Time for the big test now. Oatly Whippable Creamy Oats. That's the double cream plant-based equivalent. A quarter of a cup of that. Luckily this thing's got Cut measurements on it. Adding to that six tablespoons of maple syrup. I used to live in Canada, so I love a bit of maple syrup. We pour that over the apples. Now I don't technically own a pie dish, which is probably something I should have thought of beforehand, but I do have this sort of Pyrex bowl, so we're going to use that. We're improvising, it's fine. Line the dish with some short crust pastry and now I'm going to put in some of the apple stuff. And look, cut a little R from leftover pastry, R for Robbie. Let's put it on top. I'm going to brush the cutout R with milk, but of course we're using Oatly. Okay, so 20 minutes with foil on, 20 minutes without. Let's have a look. taste now. Find out whether it has worked. 
successfully. Yeah, it's like a nice creamy apple dessert. A great use of our apples. Whenever I can find something that uses animal products that's just as good with plant-based products, I always swap. So this is something I'll be doing again in the future. If you want to find out more recipe ideas involving Oatly where you can swap out your animal products with plant-based ones, then have a little click on the link down below to find out more things, whether or not they'll swap. It is quite quiet, but we are in we are in the restaurant. We've got yeah. into the country's best fish and chip shop. Mm -hmm. It's very quiet. It's so quiet. In fact, I'll send Robbie a video to insert now of what we're dealing with. We to be fair, stage. if you've got the best fish and chips in the country. You're not going to be wanting to do chit chat, you're going to be focused yeah, on eating it. 100%. And I personally am very excited. <laughs> and we are in Grimsby. Well, are we in Grimsby? Cleethorpes. Cleethorpes. Grimsby. Not to be mistaken with, with Grimsby. I've heard that's, that's quite a bit of a trouble. Look, guys, that's the famous, famous steel fish. I okay. feel like I'm being too loud. Am I being too loud? I think you're fine, you're fine. Thank right. you. I think we need to have haddock and chips. Mm -hmm. Yes. We should maybe get some, see if we can get some fish cakes on the side. 100%. Or something. Because Lloyd's talked about those. Has he? Yes, yes. Okay. You ready to order? Yeah, yeah. can we please get, do you yeah. want a small or large haddock? Um, large, I'll have large. Can we get crazy. two large haddock and chips, please? Big girl. Um, can we get some a side of like fish cakes? Is that possible yeah. to get just not oh, a meal? Just some, hang oh. on, hang on, hang just on, one hang fish on. Cake or two? two fish cakes. Two fish cakes. Bread and butter. Do you like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Come And do you want any peas or? <coughs> do you want oh. any peas? Um, I have some peas. Yeah. Mushy. Peas. Yeah. Normal. It's fine. Garden. garden. Get yeah, the garden. garden. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, can we get some wine. Having? Oh my God, Robbie. Oh, yeah. Can we get a bottle of? Bottle, he said. Rosé. Yes, you carry on. I'll join Bottle in. Bottle rosé, please. Thank you. How would you describe the ambiance of this place? <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? Um, everyone seems happy, but it's very quiet. I feel like everyone's it's quiet. talking. I think people are focused in a, in a on the quality tone. of their haddock. People exactly. have got good haddock, and they're like, do you know what? Maybe, maybe, talk, maybe people eat. are, you know... What's the word? I'm um, sorry. Shocked by the quality, therefore not speaking. In a Maybe. good way. <laughs> Is that wine and bread? Oh my god. We're like Jesus. We're like Jesus. Oh wow. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Do we dip it in the wine? Nope. That's not what you do. Very nice, man. Great butter. Really good butter. Proper butter. Not like pretend margarine. <laughs> Hello, mate. People are looking at us. People are looking at us like we've got something severe. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Oh, amazing. Thank Sticker, you. Thank you. <laughs> this is our food. We've got haddock oh. and chips. <laughs> that, that fish is bigger than thank me. You. This is a fish cake, and I right. got this because Lloyd Griffith recommended it, saying it's not like the fish cakes you have. At home, he says this is a real gourmet fish. Okay. We're gonna try the fish the cake, fish, fish cake. cake. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do mine in ketchup. Oh well, where's my where's ketchup? Where's my offering? Jesus right. Christ! I've got an iPhone now. You okay? It's hot. It is hot. Yeah, it's hot. I mean, I brace myself for it. I get what Lloyd means now. That is a magnificent Ugh. fish cake. It's nice. Let's try a chip now, Becky. Jesus Christ, Robbie. What makes a good chip? Um, crispiness and not too thick. Crisp on the outside, soft on the inside, maybe. Oh, amazing, amazing. Yeah, okay, Bye. That's really good. There's enough. Show off. There's enough give to it. Look at that, look at that mm. little chip, chip. Look at that chip, chip, chip. Mm. So fishy. 
The end of it was coming out fishy. It's supposed to be fishy, it's a fish cake. So we've tried the fish cake, we've tried the chips, now it's time to get stuck in the fish. Cut off a bit of fish and we're going to give this a little taste. A little fishy, fishy taste. Please send me this footage, I'll literally... I will, I'm never right. speak to you again. Okay. I will never. Fishy, fishy. There you go, I've got a bit of ketchup on there, you ready? Mm -hmm. Go. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So what I think makes a good fish and chips is the batter. Because fish is the fish is similar. That's really oh good. It's nice. That. Enough crisp, not too greasy. You okay? He love it. She loves it. Yeah, that's amazing. Wrap me up. It's got soft, but it's still got a crunch to it. It was soft crunch. That is so nice. That's so nice. I don't even know what to say because I'm so overwhelmed. Um, what I'm going to say is thank you. Lloyd Griffith says that um, cod are bottom feeders in the haddock are superior fish for that reason. Can have I you got any that? views on this? I think what, I, what have I got now? Haddock. This is haddock. Cod is for virgins. Haddock <laughs> is for people who know their fish. This fish and chips is unreal. It's really good, isn't it? It's so nice. Have you ever had better fish and chips? No, I actually haven't. I promise I haven't, no. Look how much fish and chips I've eaten compared to you. Oh, sorry. Let me get that on the vlog. That's all I've got left, a bit of fish. <laughs> You're right, though. You're fucking down the steps. So there we go, thank you. We've, we've visited Steel's Corner House. And how did it rate in terms of glorious chip shops? Uh, 10. 10 no, out of 10. I'm not going to lie, that was the best fish chips I've ever had. Huge claim. It's it not is, even it is absolutely excellent, absolutely wonderful stuff. Um, uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back with another food review very soon. Thank you for Oatly uh, for sponsoring the video down thing down there. Love you. And uh, yeah. Stay in touch. Happy days. All the Lovely best. chips. Lovely Cheers. fish. Yes. <laughs> Bye.